This is Derosa rotundifolia, and this clump of plants you see here was actually propagated from leaf cuttings from an original plant that I received from Cook's Carnivores. So this particular clone that I have here is a very easy growing sundew on the tray method, and I've actually grown this for two years without giving it dormancy, which is kind of um, unique for Derosa rotundifolia. It does form hibernacula in the winter months, and it appears that right now it's Sorry about the focus. It appears that it's kind of slowing down in growth for the year and seeing as it's December and the temperatures in my house are kind of dropping so this may go dormant in the new uh, next few months. But I tried to feed this one off and as you can see I haven't for a while and its growth is a bit reduced. I'll give you a quick size comparison here with the dime if I can fit one in here. And um, But in the meantime I'll just describe to you a few. This, this particular species of um, Drusera rotonifolia is found all across the United States and in other countries as well. Um, it's very adaptable to many different climates and uh, media types. And so this particular clone, or this clump is being grown in live sphagnum, but it grows very well in peat sand as well. Here's a size comparison to a dime. And it's much larger, much larger than this in nature. I just haven't been able to feed this plant for a while. And um, as I haven't had this plant flower for me either, um, because of the fact that I've pretty much neglected it, but it still is surprisingly doing very well. I usually like to fill the water level up about uh, halfway up this pot. Right now the water level is lower, but um, if the sphagnum is thriving, then you can usually tell that the, the rotundifolia will thrive as well. Um, I've actually grown a different clump of plants that I have um, in the, the water level up to the surface, and with all, all water-loving sundews like Drosa or Anglica, they do quite well in these conditions as well. So um, you can just experiment around with what works best for you. Uh, this plant, normally if you receive it, you're probably going to have to give it dormancy in order for, uh, for it to survive, but um, I, I don't really have too much experience, but I've actually um, had pretty good success so far with just letting it stay at um, 6 degrees Fahrenheit or around there and just kind of surviving in its dormant state until it wants to come out when the warmer temperatures come. So uh, you can just kind of experiment around with yours too. I don't want to uh, end up killing your plants for you, but uh, you just really have to experiment with these guys and see what works best. So this is Drosera rotundifolia.